Hi, I hope you're doing well in this season, that you're in a posture of prayer and looking to the Lord and trusting Him. We have heard from a number of people that have said they've had some difficulties getting on our live stream on Sunday morning. So our outstanding team of technical people have figured out a way to make this work for everyone, make it a little bit easier for you. They decided that we would do something kind of like a um, uh, live stream for dummies. And they approached me and said, we think you're the perfect person to teach us how to do that. Why me? Anyway, let's just follow this. So here's what you do. You go to our website, you find us there, all right? And then you just go to this line here, click here to live stream our meetings. Click there. There you go. Comes up right here. You have this picture of a very handsome guy with a button in front of his face, but the live stream will be right there. We'll come on 10 minutes before nine o'clock so that when you, you've got that 10 minute period to come on and then we'll go live at nine o'clock. So this should be a, a simple process for everyone and we hope that it works out for these upcoming weeks ahead. All right, good enough? All right. So with that in mind, um, I wanna talk a little bit about this week. I am looking forward to this week, perhaps more than any other Easter week because it is so, unbelievably unusual. And I want to make us aware of all the things we have going on in this week. So here we go. Thursday is Holy Thursday. We're going to do a live stream communion service. So everyone will be doing communion in their homes. We encourage you, of course, to have bread and wine or juice with you so you can participate in that communion time. It would be about uh, maybe 30 minutes that we'll do this service on Thursdays at seven o'clock. On Friday, Good Friday, we're going to do a Good Friday meditation. It will be live streamed at three o'clock Friday afternoon, the hour in which our Lord uh, gave up his life. And uh, Donnie Berry will be leading us in that. So we encourage you to uh, tune in at that time. You can watch it later on if that works better for you as well. Another piece I want to add in, and it's not anything scheduled, is perhaps some of the family, some of you uh, with kids that are old enough on Saturdays might want to just take some time and read through or even enact the resurrection story that you find in the closing chapters of the Gospels. You can go to John's Gospel or Luke's Gospel. They kind of give the best narrative and assign roles and have the kids read the elements and just kind of act this thing out. I think it would be a great way for your kids to get pulled into the story, into the narrative of it all. And then come Easter Sunday, we will do a sunrise service at 615 for the live stream. We'll do it outside, so we encourage you to go outside and watch this, and uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of a sunrise in the process. It might be cloudy, but we're gonna do this thing outside. And then after that, at nine o'clock, we'll do a live stream for our Easter Sunday celebration. The last thing that we have planned is at 11 o'clock Sunday morning, we're going to gather together on the MU parking lot, just south of the football stadium, Go to our website, get all the details there, and we're going to stay in our cars and we're just gonna do a big shout out. We're gonna have, uh, bring your noisemakers, bring whatever makes noise with you, decorate your cars if you wanna do that, whatever will make it festive and fun. We'll just take a, a few moments of it. I'll try and give us a few words of encouragement and then we'll just all kind of celebrate and yell and make some noise at the same time. I think it'll be great for us to be able to see one another in our cars. We'll stay in our cars, play it safe all the way, but it will be good for us to see one another and to celebrate this Easter in that fashion. I look forward to seeing you in all of these times. May the Lord bless you.